Hello YouTube, Ronan Kazi, Ghost Recon, Wildlands. So, one of the things in all of these games, any type of these simulations, you got to know when to quit. I'm doing a mission now. I have my main character in Ghost, Re uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is the one where you're in Bolivia, that Caesar. I got to stop that truck. So I've told the people on the helicopter to shoot. And they're engaging the convoy because we got to get that truck has supplies in it. And oh crap, there is a attack helicopter has guns out both of the door wings. And uh, so now I got to take that down. You can see in the upper right, that's the amount of alert, like in Grand Theft Auto. I want to keep that kind of down. I'm trying to get my folks to shoot the helicopter. They're not doing it. They're still messing with the convoy. You can see the radar is pinging and things are heating up down there. And that's like in life. That's like in life. When do you retreat a little bit? When do you get off the position? One of the last videos I did, I talked about realizing when you're wrong. We talked about James Webb Telescope, how it's discovering new things. We have to re-examine our perceptions and our theories about the creation of the universe, the really the universe because we're learning more things we're getting more information that we didn't have previously what do you do when you're confronted with that so we talked about that in the last video but now we're talking about when you know to retreat when you've taken too much on this could be you're a person at school you're joining too many clubs you agree you volunteer for too many extracurricular activities Maybe you're in student government and now you have a bunch of things to do and not enough time. That's partly why you're going to school to learn how to handle that because that's going to happen on a job. You have to know when to say no. Sometimes volunteering is a way to get ahead, but it's also a way to demonstrate that you're not up to the task. So you have to know your limits, but let's say you're past your limits. Then you have to know to ask for help or retreat. And so you can see on the mini-map there, there's more and more resources piling in. You can see in the upper right. Now I went from one chevron to two chevrons. The purple are the country's armed military, and the orange are the drug cartel in this particular game. And so now there's more and more people. As I kill people, I'm getting a message on the screen to fall back. Are there times in your life where people are telling you to fall back, maybe take it easy? Do you double down? Do you push in harder? I don't want to make this about one thing or the other, but a lot of people uh, think they're less, less than if they ever retreat. Uh, the one thing I really like about the people that I hang out with in the YouTube community, they make a lot of videos like It's Okay to Fail, Ultimate Shield, 340 had great videos on that, Sloth Moods had great videos on that. Failing is a teaching moment. If you always win, you don't know how to get better. So eventually you're going to lose. No one wins 100% of the time. So you might take a calculated risk that uh, why even bother ever to do anything. If I'm going to lose anyways, I'm going to shoot that helicopter now. And that's really going to get everyone pissed off. So, yeah, I. Why, what's the advantage of uh, if I know I'm going to lose, why don't I try as hard as I can? Because you don't think about what kind of energy you're expending when you're doing all this. In a game like this, it's time. That's one of the things. And you're going to see I kind of reset. They've lost contact with me. I break contact, and then I'm going to re-engage everyone. 
but do you do that in life? Maybe you should like, subscribe, share, comment, get notifications. I'd appreciate it if you did. It would help me out. Try not to give you the standard gameplay kind of stuff. I'm using the games as a vehicle, right, for us to talk about things. But back to it. I'd surmise that a lot of the conflicts in your life might be when you just double down or you're pressed. Someone might attack you first. Maybe the right thing is be, you know, in Eastern philosophy, you might be like water and just yield to that and get out of that situation. You know, you might see in the news where someone says something about the other or implies that someone is less than. And then, you know, the news reports that, you know, they characterize that like the other person's less than. If you think about any political battle, any beef and, you know, between entertainers, like it's just not in anyone's benefit except the people that are reporting that. Because everyone's going to have conflicts. You're not going to agree about everything with everyone. So there's sometimes it's important to double down and stick to your principles, but not to the point where you lose a pound of flesh over it. You don't want to be so uh, yielding that you yield on fundamental things. And what I'd also tell you is that probably the things you're going to fight about are going to be fundamental things. It's, it's going to be the thing that, that gets you mad. What you need to do is frame what you're talking about or what the situation is and is it as important as it seems. In 20 years, am I going to feel the same way about that? In 20 minutes, am I going to feel the same way about it? How we doing? And in video games... Uh, when I'm in the Division 2, there's a lot of times we just press ahead. I was in uh, Destiny 2 yesterday with uh, Sloth Moods and Ultimate Shield, a couple of YouTubers. And the mechanic of the game was to push forward, right? It, it was kind of foreign at first, but the mechanic was to push forward. And so you can see in these games how that would be at a high level, how that would be uh, topsy-turvy. I'm looking for another resource now. I've completely, I'm 111% completed on this map. So I'm really don't have anything left on my main character. So I probably won't play them much more. The weapon has been upgraded the most. It's, you know, really my best character on this game. But we found in uh, the mechanic in Destiny 2, we had to move forward. Uh, in Legendaries on the Division 2, there's a time when you shouldn't move forward. There's a time where you should at least hold the position or move. And in all of these games, movement is key. In life, movement is key. One of the great things, again, about Ghost Recon, Wildlands, and the other one, like my teammates will be on the machine gun and I can really in an off hand way take care of the people with my uh, teammates. Anyways. So are there times when you should give ground? Absolutely. The hard thing is recognizing when you should do it. But the thing if you're going to lose face if you're going to lose prestige uh, I would submit to you that those are things that you can if you care about them, you're going to be able to earn them back because you knew how to get it in the first place. If you don't know how to earn prestige or, uh, you know, street cred or whatever it is, then it shouldn't bother you anyways because if you don't know how to get it, then it's not going to matter if you lose it because you're never going to keep it anyways. So picking your fights, picking when to dig in are, is very important, but knowing when to yield, knowing when to pass on certain fights is great. 
And that's in gameplay, and that's in cards, that's at work, that's with people on the expressway, that's everywhere. When you don't want to give in, ask yourself why. I'm not saying that you have to give in on every situation, but ask yourself why so you better understand yourself so that you're the person that controls that, whether you go or not, and people can't troll you into doing it. That's another form of control when someone knows how to get under your skin to troll you to get a reaction out of you. You're giving them the power. Why allow that to happen? But you have to know what your triggers are. You have to know. and you're, So you're going to get caught a couple times. You're going to get caught where people triggered you and they, they get you. But if you go on this path, metaphorically speaking, <laughs> if you go on this path to, to figure out what triggers you, then there's going to come a point where you're going to always be in control of that. You're going to be the person that chooses that. I think they have a helo in this convoy up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's the helo. So, when should I not yield? You shouldn't yield on things where they're obviously wrong to everyone. There might be laws. <laughs> there may be codified laws. There might be, if you're a religious person, it might be something in your religion. But those are things that you shouldn't necessarily yield on. And those are going to be really tough things. So if you're in a business and someone asks you to do something that's illegal... You probably shouldn't do it. But what if your employment's based on it? Well, that makes it tougher. What if it's a gray area? It's not really illegal, but maybe it is, but in the circumstance, where, right? Their life is easy when it's black and white. But what I've tried to tell you is try not to live your life in a black and white way. The negative or the unnecessary, or the necessary consequences to that, you're going to be forced to make a lot of decisions in these gray areas that you can't just go, well, I don't know what to do. You might make a stand in those kind of things. So, I better get out of this car. Get out of the car, Ronan. <laughs> Ronan, get out of the car. You got to know when to back up. You got to know when to get out of a situation and not fight to the death. Because in video games, you have a second... But sometimes in life, you might piss off the love of your life, your significant other, for no reason. Or a child. You might say something to your child in a quick moment that you might not regret the rest of your life, but it's probably the thing that you didn't want to do. So, oh, there's a helicopter. Bye-bye, helicopter. Don't regret doing that. Ronan Kazi playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. I have a choice to make right now. What am I going to do with this person? Do I smoke them or do I let them live? What do you think, YouTube? Ronan Kazi. Talk to you soon. Bye.